This video is brought to you by Ultium. ESP32 game is one of my favorite camera modules. I have been using the ESP32 game module in different projects. Previously I used it for controlling the electronic door lock using the human face recognition technique and I have also used the same ESP32 camera module for the live video streaming. These previously designed projects will really help you in getting started with the ESP32 camera module. If you are using the ESP32 game module for the first time, then you might face some issues. I myself when I first started with the ESP32 camera module, I had to deal with some errors including the detected camera not supported and the camera prop failed with error 0x2004. There is also another issue that you might face while working on the ESP32 camera module and that is the ESP32 game module keeps resetting automatically. So if you face any of these issues then I highly recommend watch my getting started tutorial on the ESP32 camera module. You already know ESP32 game is an IoT supported camera module which means you can connect this low cost camera module with the Wi-Fi network and this way you can build yourself an extremely powerful IoT security camera or surveillance system. In today's episode you will learn how to make an IoT security camera using the ESP32 cam module and Google Drive. The ESP32 cam captures the images and then sends them to Google Drive. The images can be captured in two different ways. Number one, we can make it fully automatic by using a delay. So the ESP32 cam will capture the image after a fixed delay and then send it to Google Drive. The delay time can be changed in the programming. So let's say if you want the ESP32 camera module to send an image after every one minute or let's say 10 minutes, simply change the delay time in the code. Now this technique can be quite useful in situations where you need to monitor progress at a construction site or any other activity. So this technique is useful when it comes to monitoring some kind of progress or activity. But the same technique fails when the ESP32 cam is used for security purposes. Because it seems quite impractical to send images at a regular time interval while there is no activity at all. So that's why I also created a second version of the same project which I named as the IoT security camera. Number two. Now the second version is also fully automatic but it captures and sends the images only when a sensor is activated. It can be any analog or digital sensor. For demonstration purposes I am going to use this IR sensor. So each time the IR sensor is activated it will send an image to Google Drive. Let me practically show you both the techniques and then I will explain everything else. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. To get rid of the jumper wires, I designed these two PCB boards. If you want to use a 33 volt LiPo battery or a 5 volt power supply, then you can use only this board. This board also has these female headers which you can use to connect sensors and other electronic circuits. You can connect a 5 volt power supply over here or you can connect a 3.3 volt LiPo battery over here. The ESP32 camera module nicely sits in on the top of this circuit. If you want to use a solar panel or any other voltage source which is between 9 and 25 volts, then you can use this circuit. As you can see, this board has the 705 voltage regulator which accepts a wide range of input voltages and gives regulated 5 volts 
is the output which can be used to power up the ESP32 camera module and other sensors. So if you are planning to control 12 volts relays, then you should use this circuit. These circuits are provided with the male and female headers due to which these ports can be easily connected together without using the jumper wires. Since in this project I am not using any relays and 12 volts electronic devices, so I am not going to use this circuit. I have already uploaded the program which sends images to Google Drive after every few seconds. Don't worry, later in this video I will explain how to upload a program. My ESP32 cam is absolutely ready and now it's time to connect my 5 volt regulated power supply. When the LED flashes it means the ESP32 cam has connected with the Wi-Fi network. You can see I just received an image in my Google Drive from the ESP32 camera module. This is version 1 and its job is to send images to Google Drive after every few seconds. As I explained earlier, this type of project can be quite useful in situations where you need to monitor a specific type of activity or work progress etc. Since the images are uploaded to Google Drive, it means you can monitor any specific activity from anywhere in the world. You might know every Google account comes with 15 GB of storage that's shared across Google Drive, Gmail and Google Photos. So make sure you don't use short delays otherwise in a day or so your entire Google Drive will be filled with images. You can see I have already received many images from the ESP32 cam and if I didn't stop the ESP32 cam it will keep sending the images to my Google Drive. So I'm going to stop my ESP32 cam and I'm also going to delete all the images. Now let's watch the second version of the same project in action. This time I connected this IR sensor with the ESP32 cam. If you want you can also use a PIR sensor or a microwave sensor or an ultrasonic sensor or any other sensor as per your requirement. Anyways, now the ESP32 cam will only send images when the IR sensor is activated. So let's go ahead and power up the ESP32 camera module. You can see the ESP32 cam only send an image to Google Drive when the IR sensor is activated. This is how easily you can convert your ESP32 cam into an IoT security camera. Now you have got an idea of what exactly you are going to learn after watching this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the circuit diagram of the top PCB board. As you can see, there is nothing complicated. Male and female headers are connected with the power supply and I.O. pins of the ESP32 camera module. The SV3 and SV4 male headers are used to make connections with the bottom circuit board. The JP1 is used to connect a 3.3V LiPo battery while the JP2 is used to connect the 5V regulated power supply. All the other headers are used for interfacing sensors and other output devices. This is the circuit diagram of the bottom PCB board. Female headers are connected with the power supply and I.O. pins of the ESP32 camera module. 
The bottom PCB board is provided with the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the linear voltage regulator LM7805. A voltage source greater than 6 volt and less than 28 volts is connected with a DC female power jack J1. This way, the ESP32 camera module can also be powered up using a solar panel, 12 volt battery, or a 12 volt adapter, etc. I also added headers for the 12 volt and ground connections. If in case you want to control 12 volt relays, small 12 volt DC motors, etc. I used Gatesoft Eagle for designing the top and bottom PCBs. I have already explained the PCB designing and soldering in my previous video based on the face recognition door lock control system. You need to watch this video if you want to learn how to control a 12 volt relay and an electronic door lock. Anyways, here are my PCBs and as I explained earlier, in this project, I will be only using this PCB board. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. This is the code which sent images to Google Drive at regular intervals. There are a few things which I would like to explain. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you install the ESP32 port manager URL link. And for this, you can watch my getting started tutorial on the ESP32 module. Once you have installed the board, then you should be able to see the ESP32 raw module. ESP cam is the main code which consists of the SSID, password and the Google Apps script path which I will explain in a minute. Now if we go to the main loop function, you can see inside this loop function we have only one function, the send captured image function and then a delay. You can increase or decrease this delay. Personally, I don't like delays inside the main loop function because it really disturbs normal execution of the program because once the control enters into the delay function, then it stays there and the controller won't do anything until the delay is over. So apart from sending the images to the Google Drive, if you also want to monitor some sensors, then I highly recommend don't use a delay. You can use a timer. This code is ready to use means you don't need to change anything except the delay, SSID, password and the Google Apps script path. The ESP came base 64.cpp and base 64.h files are need to be inside the same folder. You can download all these three files from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Now let's start working on the Google Apps script. Open the web browser and search for the Google Apps script. Click on the start scripting button. Click on the new project button. Enter the project name. You can download this Google script code from my article. Click on the save button. Click on the publish menu and then click on the deploy as web app. Select who has access to the app. Click on the review permissions. Select your Gmail account. Click on the advanced and then click on the go to ESP32 game unsafe. Click on the allow button. You will get this current web app URL link. This is basically the Google Apps script path. Copy this URL and paste it in the web browser. Now you have to copy only this part of the link and paste it in your code. Now the program is ready for upload. But before you upload the program, first make sure you select the correct board which is ESP32 Roar module. Select the baud rate 115200. Select the flash frequency 40 MHz. Select the flash mode QIO. Select the partition scheme. 
Now you have two ways to upload the program. You can use this USB to TTL converter or you can use an Arduino board to upload the program. Since most of the beginners don't have this USB to TTL converter, so I will use Arduino with the ESP32 camera module to upload the program. Let's take a look at the connections diagram. Connect the 5 volt and ground pins of the ESP32 cam with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground pins. On the ESP32 cam, connect the IO0 with the ground pin. Connect the receive and transmit pins of the ESP32 camera module with the receive and transmit pins of the Arduino. Make sure you connect the receive with the receive and transmit with the transmit. Finally, connect the reset pin of the Arduino with the ground. I connected the ESP32 cam with the Arduino as per the connections diagram. Now I'm going to connect my Arduino board with the laptop. On the Arduino IDE, make sure you select the correct communication board. Finally, click on the upload button and wait for a while. You can see the program has been uploaded. Next, remove all the wires. Now the ESP32 cam is completely ready. You can use 5 volt and ground from the Arduino to power up the ESP32 camera module, which is good for the initial testing. But in the long run, it seems quite impractical to use Arduino to power up the ESP32 cam. I highly recommend you should get a board like this. So if you want to make the same ESP32 cam development board, then you can download the PCB design files from the article. My ESP32 cam is absolutely ready. And now it's time to connect my 5 volt regulated power supply. You can see I just received an image in my Google Drive from the ESP32 camera module. This is version 1 and its job is to send an image to Google Drive after every few seconds. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram of version 2 which is the IoT security camera. The VCC and ground pins of the IR sensor are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the ESP32 camera module. The out pin of the IR sensor is connected with the IO13 pin of the ESP32 camera module. I connected my IR obstacle sensor module with the ESP32 cam as per the circuit diagram. And now let's take a look at the ESP32 cam based IoT security camera code. This is the same exact program. I didn't change anything except adding this if condition. Now the ESP32 cam will only send image to the Google Drive when the IR sensor is activated. I have already uploaded the program using the same method as previously explained. Now let's watch the ESP32 cam based IoT security camera in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.